Sometimes nature takes our breath away with its beauty and wonders. From north to south and east to west, Puerto Rico is filled with incredible sights that will make you want to stay here. In this video, we are going to share with you some of those enchanting places. Hello, good morning! Today we're doing a beach road trip in the northwest of Puerto Rico. We're starting in Isabela and then going to Aguadilla and then to Cabo Rojo. Today we're beginning right here in Pozo Teororo, which is a natural pool in Isabela. There are several other natural pools in Isabela, and this is our favorite one because there's lots of nice sand and beautiful views and a lovely protected dune with a boardwalk. You can actually bring your kids here for a swim because it's really shallow and protected from the ocean. Our trip starts with a one hour and 40 minute drive to the town of Isabela. Located on the northwest coast of Puerto Rico, Isabela is a unique town for a weekend visit. Isabela should definitely be on your to-do list when visiting the island because this town offers every activity you could possibly dream of. Surfing, snorkeling, scuba diving, hiking, going for a bike ride, or just having a fantastic meal. Featuring beautiful golden sand dunes, Pozo Teodoro is one of the most beautiful natural protected pools in Isabela. The rocks form a circle that protects swimmers from the waves. At the rock side, you can enjoy a fascinating show of crashing waves and waterfalls that will make you want to stay the whole day just admiring nature. Four minutes to the west of Pozo Teodoro, we find Poza Las Colondrinas. This is a super safe natural pool for kids to swim or snorkel in and enjoy watching all the colorful fish that live in the area, since it's only about two feet deep and lacks entry to the open ocean. This posa is a very relaxing place to spend your day walking on the beautiful sand or making sand castles. Be advised that like Poso Teodoro, this beach does not have bathroom services. Also, please remember to take with you anything that doesn't belong on the beach. Let's keep this paradise in pristine conditions. This is one of my favorite beaches for snorkeling in Isabela. Located 10 minutes west from Posa Las Golondrinas, Shack's Beach is a paradise for those who enjoy marine life. This beach is popular for many things, including surfing, windsurfing, kiteboarding, swimming, and snorkeling. If you are like me and love snorkeling, you are in for a treat since Shack's Beach has its own reef filled with a variety of fish, corals, and other marine life. Please remember to not touch, stand on, or break the corals. Twenty minutes to the west, you will find one of the most incredible and beautiful beaches on the island, Crash Boat Beach. Now we're at Crash Boat Beach in Aguarilla. This beach is very famous for snorkeling and scuba diving. And there's very good snorkeling out here at these docks, at the piers. And as you can see, the water is crystal clear, so I'm super excited to go in the water and see what I can find. This place is ideal for snorkeling, swimming, or just having a relaxing, fun day with friends and family. This beach is a must visit if you are in Puerto Rico. Take some time and enjoy the bright blue crystalline waters. There's parking for a few dollars, restaurants, and places to rent paddle boards and other fun equipment. Some people say Crash Boat got its name because of a shipwreck there, and others say it is because the beach was used to rescue planes that crashed in the ocean during World War II. Nobody is 100% sure where the name came from, but one thing is for certain, it is a spectacular place. We even found a friend. The brown pelican is an endangered seabird native to Puerto Rico. When you go in the water, you 
you will see that the piles are full of life with corals, shrimps, and a great variety of fish. This is just a snorkeling paradise. The water is crystal clear and deep enough for free diving. At the end of the main dock, you can find underwater ruins of the old dock. These ruins form an artificial reef that attracts various species of fish. When I was snorkeling, I saw thousands of sergeant majors, which are small yellow fish with black bars. Someone on the dock was feeding them, so they were incredibly friendly. I also saw some tarpon as big as sharks. That was a really invigorating snorkeling experience. There are a lot of sergeant majors, which are little yellow stripy fish, and somebody was feeding them, so they were going crazy. And they saw me and they thought I was food, so they started to bite me but not very hard. And the water is really clear and it's beautiful and there's a lot of different corals growing on the docks so that's really fun to see. Now we're going to Playa Bouge in Cabo Rojo. Now let's move on to our last stop, Playa Bouge in Cabo Rojo. But first, let's explore some of the nice restaurants in the area. If you want to have an incredible barbecue experience, we recommend visiting Twyford's Barbecue in Isabela. Here you will find delicious authentic barbecue and a spectacular view. If you're craving Puerto Rican food, you can visit Desecheo in Aguaria. We had a yuca and plantain mofongo stuffed with chicken, chorizo, and steak. All dressed with a guava chimichurri and melted mozzarella cheese. Ah, and the most amazing coffee-flavored cream brulee ever. Playa Bouge and Cabo Rojo is located on the southwest side of the island in approximately two and a half hours from San Juan. All right, we're at the entrance of Playa Bouge. And this is, we parked outside of the resort on the street, but there's also parking inside the resort that you can pay for. And the main beach is that way, uh, like where the resort is, but then we're gonna go the opposite direction on this road that becomes a path through the forest uh, right by the ocean. And apparently in the middle of there, there's a ruins, and then there's also a park where there's really good snorkeling to the side of it. We're gonna see if we can find the good snorkeling. I think there's actual reefs and sea fans and stuff in there. So see what we can find. Calm turquoise waters, beautiful smooth white sand, and a great ambience makes this beach a nice place to spend the day or even a weekend since there are some cabins where you can stay just minutes from the beach. This beach is very popular among the locals, so be ready to see a crowd. Due to the gentle waves and crystal clear waters, this beach is great for snorkeling and enjoying a beautiful underwater landscape. so many wonders and diverse experiences in just one day. If you're into hiking and exploring and want to wander off the beach for a minute, you can walk west of the beach where you will find a fascinating trail. Wanikia Trail is a magical path along the shore of Puye Beach. This trail is full of birds, lizards, and the soothing sound of the ocean while you hike. After about 20 minutes, you'll get to the top of a hill where you can see Las Ruinas de Wanikia and also an incredible view of the Laguna Wanikia. Puerto Rico is a paradise. If you enjoy snorkeling, swimming, sightseeing, hiking, or delicious food, Puerto Rico has it all. Go out, live, and explore. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next adventure.